If you are having trouble booting into Windows 10 or Windows 11 on a UEFI based system, then don't worry, I have got you covered. In this tutorial, I will walk you through step by step how to fix the boot configuration issue. Let's get started. First, you will need a Windows installation media. This could be a bootable USB drive or a Windows setup CD or DVD with the Windows 11 files. Don't have one? No problem. Check out our separate tutorial on how to create a Windows bootable USB. Once you have it, insert the USB or disk into your computer. Restart your computer and boot from the USB or DVD. Go to your BIOS or PC's BIOS boot manager by pressing F2, F10, F12 or delete etc. Now select your USB drive to boot from that. Select your language preferences and click next. Then click next. On the install now screen, click repair your computer instead of proceeding with installation and click next. After that choose your keyboard layout. Go to troubleshoot. Under advanced option, go to command prompt. Once you are in the command prompt, type the following command bcd edit and hit enter. This will display your current boot configuration including information about the OS drive, boot path and identifiers. Now let's find out which disk has Windows installed. Type disk part and press enter. Then enter list disk. Then hit enter. Now you will see a list of available disks. Find the one where Windows is installed. Typically disk 0. Next type list wall. And press enter. This will show a list of all volumes on your PC. Look for the EFI partition. It usually has FAT32 under the FS column. For example, if the EFI partition is volume 1, then type cell vol1 and press enter. Then assign it a unique drive letter. Assign letter equals P. And hit enter. Now as you can see it shows the disk part successfully assigned the drive letter or mount point. To verify, type list wall again. And then hit enter. Your EFI partition should now have the letter P assigned to it. Now exit disk part by typing exit and hit enter. Next navigate to the EFI partition. CD space forward slash D space P colon backward slash EFI backward slash Microsoft backward slash boot and backward slash. Then press enter. If needed, you can check the contents of the directory by typing DIR and hit enter. Here you will see secure boot executable files and boot executable files. To recreate the BCD, we need to format the EFI partition. Type format space p colon space forward slash fs colon fat32 and press enter. Confirm by typing y by pressing enter. Now switch to your OS drive, usually C. Now type your OS drive letter and hit enter. To verify type DIR and hit enter. If you don't see the Windows directory, then try another drive letter, example D drive or E drive. Once you are in the correct drive, run the following command to recreate the BCD. 
BCD boot space C colon backward slash windows space forward slash S space P colon space forward slash F space UEFI and hit enter. If done correctly, you should see a message confirming that the boot files have been created successfully. Type exit and press enter to close the command prompt. Turn off your PC and remove the USB or DVD. Power your PC back on and check if Windows boots up normally. That's it. If everything went well, your system should boot without any issues. So that's it for today. If this tutorial helped you, please like, comment and share. It really supports the channel. And of course, don't forget to subscribe for more tech tips and troubleshooting guides. Thank you. Thanks for watching.